Okay, following on from that uh, last video, um, what we're going to do this time is instead of giving you the function and you drawing the, the diagram, the, um, the graph is given to you and you've got to find out what the function is. So we look at the, the function and we go, oh jeepers, that looks like a sine graph. So we give our general form and then we just, that organises our head to say that we've got to find A, B and D. So let's pick the easy ones first. Remember D, D is the centre of motion. So clearly our centre of motion here is 3. A is the amplitude and the amplitude is the distance from the centre of motion to the top and to the bottom. So A is that distance there, so we can see here that A is 2. And we're going to use a rule here. Um, B equals 2 pi on t. Now t is my time period, so the length that time the length it takes to get through a full cycle, which here is 2. So here I'm going to go b equals 2 pi on 2, which is pi. So once I've got a, d, and b, I can then go, therefore, y equals 2 sine pi x plus 3. Again, nice and simple. Do one thing at a time. And um, this time I won't lie to you. You need to do lots of practice because it looks easier than it is.